Click the link below for a 30-day free trial of Audible. You there, citizen! Have you seen this man? Kenji Hikari, age 21, height 5'11", and weighing 187 pounds, was last seen in Chapter 252, going against Uraume, Sukuna's number one lackey, and getting high diffed. If you have any information on this man's whereabouts, please contact your local authorities, and make sure you hit Gege up to ask where this has been for the past almost nine chapters. Uh, bro, I literally, like, I literally said the other day, I was not gonna do any more rants. I was gonna try to, like, calm down on the rants, but then that Ninja Kamui video happened and it, it, it banged it's about it's about 14 000 views you know just you know, some, some light work but then we have uh, my favorite shonen at, at at the moment jujutsu kaisen you know what i mean yeah le me leader y'all know me leader of sakuna nation number one sakuna glazer on the internet my title undisputed y'all know this uh but we gotta talk about uh the most fraudulent individual i have seen in recent manga history right but before we start today's video, guys, please make sure you use code DAFFY10 at your next purchase at AnimeExpress.com. Please make sure that you get yourself something nice like a hoodie, a t-shirt, a Pokeball, or even like some anime-inspired lights, anything anime-related that you need. Please make sure you head on over there. Uh, link will be in the description below. Please make sure you use my code. That is DAFFY10. And yeah, let's get on to it. Um, <laughs> We got to talk about allegedly one of Jujutsu Tech's four big hitters one, one of the four right so we have yuji itadori right who has proven himself to be a generational mc at this time obviously having mizushi having a uh, blood manipulation he hit the the soul uh punch the you know the, the power to basically directly hit someone's soul obviously you know if the, if it's only pain itadori yuji won't stop you know what i mean great fantastic moments one of my favorite main characters at, at, at this time right and then we have yuta okotsu literally the, the goat right obviously so we have Rika at his right hand. He was so strong as a kid. He had no idea that he cursed somebody by accident. He had no idea what reverse curse technique was and just used it to heal somebody just because he was so upset at the moment. He basically one shot Ghetto, proving Ghetto was arguably probably a little less of a fraud than the man we're about to talk about today. Put his hand in Sukuna's tummy mouth, ripped his blood clot tongue out of his body, and also has access to a, 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 a crazy amount of techniques that he has inside of his domain, including Jacob's Ladder, which basically brought Sukuna's health bar to like around 15%. And then we have Maki Zenin, obviously a demonic fighter equal to Toji Zenin. You, you know what I mean? I, I'd say Maki has better feats that have been displayed, but people aren't trying to hear that. It's fine. You know what? Massage who cares maki's my girl love maki y'all know this obviously probably like the best stealth option y'all have at jujutsu tech and then we get to hikari kenji and i really wonder what is the point of him being in here bro <laughs> Listen, bro, when Hikari was first introduced, like, we had heard about Hikari, right? Like, obviously, we had that one flashback in season one where, like, Hikari was black. I don't care what any of y'all tell me. Hikari is black as far as I'm concerned. That, he's a young brother, right? Good brother. Good brother Hikari, right? He has the dreads going on. Look like Twist to me. Uh, and then, obviously, we have his darker skin palette. And then when we got to that volume cover, he looks, he's a little lighter. Now, Gege is colorblind, so it's maybe not... It's still not, not confirmed that he's black, but he's black to me. He's black to me. He's going to stay that way. And so then we have, you know, a little decent showing of uh, his strength against Yuji, where, you know, he basically like almost knocks Yuji out. And Yuji's a very strong kid, obviously. Uh, but Yuji's, you know, kind of tanking some of his punches. And then we have his fight with Charles, which is absolutely just pee pee poo poo dog water. Or worst fight in the series, usually. But it was made uh, to kind of give a slight glimpse into his domain expansion, which is fine. It, it, it serves the nar narrative of the story, but I do think it's a, uh, not a great fight. Um, I probably would say that Haruta versus Nabara would, is arguably worse. Uh, but then we go to Kashima versus Akari, which is a good fight. Obviously, uh, listen, if you are reading this fight when it was happening you like do not let people gaslight you into thinking that this fight has always been revered as good this fight was literally painful to watch or painful to read week to week because people wondering what's happening with yuji where's yuta where's literally everybody else like hikari he's this new guy like same thing with kashimo like people really didn't have this love for hikari and kashimo at the time so when this fight was going on people were like Oh, I, I really don't care. But then, like, as time went on, like, upon a reread, uh, because Cohen Games, I personally believe, is way better uh, in a binge read as opposed to week to week because there's so many different things going on. But I will say that, obviously, this fight is fantastic. Very good. Top three in the series. 
Uh, and so we have some good stuff from Hikari there, man. Uh, but the thing is, and, and like I've said with other people, is that Hikari's main thing is raw fire power. He doesn't have like any like big like seal the deal attacks or anything like that. No big finishing moves. So when it was revealed uh, that he was going to fight Urame, I was kind of like, oh, like, he's, he's probably going to do something. Like he's probably going to, uh, uh, I don't know, stall or something. And boy, howdy, how <laughs> has he? Bro, this man, Hakari, has been fighting Urame for seven months. How many moons is seven months? Oh, well, I just found out that a moon is literally a lunar cycle. So seven moons have passed <laughs> since since Akari has started his fight with Urame. And brother, I, I gotta I gotta tell you something, man. I, you, you're really not impressing me nor anybody else. There's the thing is that like, I have been kind of saying that, oh, Giga is gonna go back to this fight. Giga is gonna go back to this fight because we've had so many hype moments with this Sakuna showdown fight, right? Like we have uh, Yuta stepping into the battle. We have Yuji learning reverse curse technique uh, or, you know, I mean, uh, showing that he has reverse curse technique. We have Maki coming into the battle as well. So we have like all these different like cliffhangers. So I thought that Gege was gonna be like, oh, okay, Akari's gonna get his moment. Cool, like, like, like let's go. Let's kind of like, let's kind of drive the attention away from the main battle for a second, right? I guess I was too used to My Hero Academia. I apologize. Buddy, I, I don't, like the best we've seen of Akari versus Urame was like Akari like getting like a little bit of like his body, like his arm, like frozen off and he gets it back. Then he like kicks Urame when she, you know, when, when she tries to, you know, take his leg off or whatever like that. But I'm sitting here and I'm really like wondering and puzzling, what is Hikari gonna be able to do to Orame? Like what, like what, he doesn't have anything offensively that I think could take them out. I really don't. Like Urame literally was going to kill everybody except Yuji at the end of Shibuya. You know who I think would have literally a, a way better time fighting Urame? Yuta, I think that Maki would have a better time fighting Guram. Ah, actually, ah, that's Cap. I'm not a capper. I'm not a capper. So we, we're going to do this live. I don't think that Maki would would, would, uh, would fight Urame, especially considering the fact that Urame actually literally froze Maki. Uh, she had to uh, try pretty hard to get out of there uh, when she fought Sukuna with Yuji. So not a capper. But I'm just like, bro, what are you what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I'm listen, I can't hate on Hikari too too much because he he bagged Kiara and that's or Kiara and that's cool, right? I, I understand. Listen, I I was not familiar with your game, my brother. Go ahead and do what you want to do. But <laughs> we look at this this last panel, and Rame looks completely fine, and Hikari looks busted up, beat up. You lost your shirt. You lost your shoes. Like, you, bro, she's literally whooping feet. You know what I mean? Like Kendra said, whooping feet. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do a domain expansion 2.0. I mean, I'm gonna need you, Hakari. Listen, listen, nigga. Do something. Do something. Please take those domain coordinates and shift your latitude and your longitude like 30 clicks east and go to Shinjuku. You should be over there helping out, but you're not doing anything, bro. Bro, how many niggas have died? since Hikari started fighting this frosty fuck. So Kashimo died, then Higuruma died, then Yuta got mortally wounded, Maki got smacked the fuck up, Kukasabe is basically on a stretcher, Sukuna beat Laure's ass, Eno's basically uh, out of the fight as well, and Choso just got, uh, <laughs> Cho just got charboiled, bro. You, 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 <laughs> Boy, this is your fault. I ain't gonna lie, bro, this is your fault. <laughs> Again, this video is like semi a joke, but I just I, I I gotta push the agenda. I'm sorry. Do I think that Yuji could probably beat Orame at this point by himself? I mean, maybe, possibly. I think so. But like, what is like what what is you giving yourself uh, as temporarily immort temporary immortality gonna do? Because she's just gonna keep freezing you over and over and over and over again. So what? I'm like, what? Like, Hakari is easily the weakest person out of his top four. Dude, Yuta was capping big time when he said, "Oh yeah, Hakari could probably beat me in the fight." Hey, listen, people. I and I was, I've been saying this. Yuta is the type of person to be extremely humble and he doesn't think very highly of himself. It's literally in one of the volume extras where Yuta like this isn't like you look literally look at his eyes. They're all droopy all the time. He's a, he's a kind of a gloomy kid. And even Maki was like, no, he isn't. What are you talking about? Bro, literally, if Sukuna found this man Hikari, he would laugh in his face. Even five percent Sukuna, what you're seeing at this point, will probably look at Hikari and just gonna laugh at him, bro. So unless Hikari is gonna use that luck and start chain hitting some black flashes, I don't know if he's got it in him, bro. Bro, they out here saying that Hikari's doing cardio with Urame. They saying that Urame and Hikari are playing a game of Uno. They saying ain't nothing going on. There's no action, no 
work being displayed. Gay Gay, put your pen to work. And listen, I've been trusting Gay Gay. I, we, I would say that this past chapter is arguably one of the best chapters we've had in a pretty long time. Obviously, heavy spoiler, but I think Choso's death is the best death in Jujutsu Kaisen since it's better than Nanami's, better than Nobara's, dare I say better than Gojo's. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hey, listen, I'm a Gay Gay. Get, get to work. Get to work. Put some on. Hakari, I'm gonna need you to take your shoes off, take your belt off, start putting some belt to ass ASAP. They said you lied about your curse technique. They said you lied about being top five in the verse. They said you lied. Is this man Hakari beating Ghetto? I don't know. Is Hakari beating Yorozu? Absolutely not. Is Hakari beating Ryu? Probably not. Is Hakari beating Euro? I don't know. Probably not. Is Hakari beating Takuba? Shoo. Speaking of which, where is Takuba? Is Takuba dead? I don't think he's dead, right? I Kajaku didn't kill him. I think he was about to, right? I, well, where is Takuba? What the, f <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, shoot, this fucking gambling addict. Is he beating Higuruma? All that time he spent in that blood class casino. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much debt he got? That's what I want to know. Anyway, man, rant over. I just, this man just making my skin itch. I, ugh. I. <laughs> I'm hoping we get to see Hikari soon here, man, because as soon as Sakuda fired off that arrow and he turned around all scuffed up and beat up and uh, Urame was just looking fine. I just, <laughs> listen, 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 give me get, give me 15 minutes with Urame. You see what it gets done. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, guys, me and boy Daffy and I will see you in the next video. Y'all make sure you take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good one. Peace.